Oh, hi. Welcome back to Apple Condoms. Oh. This is Sandy Averly. How are you? Today I'm making some of my healing lotion. I'm going to scoot the camera down so you can see. It's cooking away. I have some cocoa butter in there right now and I'm about to add some shea butter. When I make my healing lotion, I use chamomile, um, calendula, willow, yarrow, comfrey. They're all herbs. I put them in my coffee grinder and I grind them up so they're in smaller pieces. Put them all together in a bowl and add a little bit of alcohol, sometimes some of my homemade wine. Anything that's got alcohol that will pull all those essence out of the herbs. So, and then I just mix that up. If I have to add a little bit of olive oil to that mixture, that's okay. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Well, the cocoa butter is all melted. So I got some shea butter from my local health food store. And I'm just going to dump that in and start stirring it too. Now this is a long process to make this... Um, lotion. And I actually use the same herbs when I make my healing salve. Here's some of my salve right here. It works so good. In fact, I mail it all over the country. I just mailed two jars to Texas. When I started making it, I really just made it so that it would heal up cuts and bruises, um, things like that. But what I found from people that were buying it most of the people that buy it from me um, use it on shingles. In fact, the two jars I sent to Texas, um, she says it works better than anything that the doctor's ever given her. So that makes me feel good. And it's just herbs um, and oils, and so there's nothing that could harm you. Um, I have a lady that lives in Nebraska, and she buys it because she had a... In her dog had an infection, a cut, and it just wouldn't heal. And the vet had tried all kinds of medicine, and she called me on the phone one day, and she says, do you have any of that salve I bought for cuts? She had used it all. And I said, actually, I do. I just made some up. And I sent it. Um, she sent me a, a message about a week later, and she said in two days it was starting to heal. She was so excited, and I was excited because herbs are powerful. So let me show you, it's just melting away. Still a few little pieces in there. I like to melt it very slowly. So anyway, back to the way I make it. So I have all the herbs in a, in a bowl. I add that alcohol, just to kind of bind it because the alcohol will draw out all those great essence in the herbs. Then I take mace, um, little jars, mason jars, these are jelly jars, and I fill them a third way full with that um, herb mixture. Then I fill the rest of it with extra virgin olive oil. Put the lid on tight. Then I'm going to take, sorry, I just have to stir this just a little bit. I have to wash it really ca carefully. Then I take um, my crock pot. I set all the jars inside there and I fill it with water so that there's water above the little um, jelly jars. I put it on warm and for three days and nights it cooks. If I have to add more water because of evaporation, I do. But it just slowly cooks. I've tried doing it on low, but with my crock pot, sometimes the water wants to boil and I don't want the water to boil. I don't want the oil to get that hot. I just want it warm so with the combination of the alcohol and the oils, it's pulling all those great things out of the herbs. So I keep um, a watch on it. I leave it on day and night. And it's not a high heat, so I don't have to worry about anything. Then I take it out and I use this mesh. I just actually, I just put it right on my pot. In fact, I'll do it right now so you can see what it would look like. And I'll pull that down. See, it's just sitting on top of my pot. And I just dump one jar at a time 
and I just let it drain into my pot. And depending, sometimes I do three jars. This last time I did eight jars because that's what would fit into my crock pot. And I literally let it sit for about two days and let it drain. I put a towel over top of it so no dust or anything gets in there. And so when that gets all done, the herbs can go into my compost pile and it's ready to make the lotion. So I'm just doing the last little bit of stirring and then I can add some more things. So I'm gonna turn my burner off because it'll be warm enough for me to um, keep stirring it and I can add some more things. Now, if you have a coffee grinder that you use to grind your herbs, it's better to have two of them if you grind your own coffee beans too. My husband has this one that I grind his coffee beans in and then I have one that's specifically for my herbs. I don't ever want that flavor of coffee to ever go into any of my lotions or salves or anything like that. So I'm just careful and I just um, have two separate ones. It's easy. Now, when this finishes getting melted, I'm also going to add sweet almond oil. Um, you can use jojoba oil if you have you know, access to that. Um, sweet almond oil is just such a good skincare product, so that's why I'm using it today. I'm also gonna take some of these vitamin E tablets, and see they have vitamin E inside, and I'm just gonna take my knife and puncture them and just put them right in there. I just need it to cool down just a little teeny bit before I do it. So I'm just continuing to stir it and I'm gonna take it off the burner. And I'm gonna put in my sweet almond oil. Now the scent I'm gonna to use to, um, in the lotion is lemongrass. It's just one of my favorites. You could use lavender or any scent that you like for a lotion. But remember, it's not just regular, heal, uh, regular lotion, it's a healing lotion. So it can help with your skin, it can help with cuts. It's very close to how I make my salve, which is very specific, where I wanted a lotion for, like in the wintertime, your skin gets so dry, um, especially up here in Wyoming when it, where it's cold. In fact, we're having a blizzard right now. It's crazy, it was nice yesterday, today we're having a blizzard. I looked outside a little bit ago, and the snow is going sideways. Okay, so I've, added all that in there. Now you might ask what my recipe is, but I know all my ingredients, but I don't have a recipe written down. That's just, it's just one of those things I don't need to have. When you become an old woman, you don't need recipes anymore because you remember things. It's like, I could tell you how to make pancakes. I could tell you how to make a cake. And I don't need to look at a recipe because I'm an old woman. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of my v vitamin E tablets. I'm gonna put six of them in there. And all I do is take a knife and just poke it a little bit. And then I'm just gonna squeeze it in there. And I'm gonna do that with all six of them. Now, you could put more or less vitamin E in there. Um, it's a good preservative. It's great for you, you know, medically. And so I'm using six of them today because I'm actually making quite a bit of lotion. And I'm not gonna add my scent into it until after it's in the blender and I'm starting to whip it up. When it gets whipped up, then I'm gonna put it in my little jelly jars. There, that's the last one. Put it in my jelly jars. And I'm gonna use these little caps that you can get at Walmart. They'll fit really nice on my jelly jar. You can use any jar you want. You could use a tin, you, could, um, you can buy specific little jars, but it's a lotion, and so I want to have a lot in each one. 
I'll give it to my girls and um, I'll probably sell some at the farmer's market. So I'm going to mix that up. Everything is in here now. So now it's just a process of putting it in my blender. I'm just going to use one of my jelly jars because I have more than I need. I'd really like a Vitamix because that would just blend it so much faster than a regular one, a regular blender. But I also don't want to pay $500 for one. I keep looking on Facebook hoping that somebody bought one sometime and then they never used it or they used it for a little while and then it's just been sitting in their cupboard and they'd like to rehome it and I'd like to buy it from them. But so far I haven't got that. But that's okay. So I'm going to put it on my blender. First I'm going to turn it to low. Blend it for a little while and then I'll add my scent in there, my lemongrass, and then I'll blend it some more. So it'll be a little loud. completely boring if I just blend, kept blending it and that's what you were watching me. So I'm going to put my lemongrass in there. Um, it's an essential oil and then I'm going to blend it for a while and then I'll come back and I'll combine the two videos together. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do that. You know, I'm new at this. I'm an old woman. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and I've been blending it, stopping, blending, stopping. But after I had blended it for about two minutes, I did add a little bit of beeswax. And now this is beeswax that I get from my hive. Um, I grated it. Um, I just store it in the freezer and when I need some, I take it out. If you don't have access to grated um, beeswax, you can buy it on the internet. Here is a bag that I purchased. It's very ground very fine. It's very fast to to melt in there and the temperature of your liquid doesn't have to be very warm for that. Now as I blend it, um, I have to decide how much beeswax to go into it and it seems every single time it is a little bit different. It's a little bit more, it's a little bit less and so what I found that I can do is when I blend it, I stop the blender and I put in a spoon and I just dip it in real quickly, take it out and I put it in the refrigerator. If it solidifies quite quickly, I have enough beeswax in there. Now, I don't need as much beeswax as if I was making a salve. I want it to be a lotion. And so it should be liquidy still, but the color should turn um, more light yellow as you blend it. As the air bubbles get in there, it starts to cool. And so when I've blended it enough, I just decide to put it in the jars. And as it sits overnight, it'll actually get a little thicker. But remember, it is a lotion. If I was going to put it in a squirt bottle, I'd be wanting it to be able to squeeze it and have it come out. Now, this is different than a regular lotion. It is a healing lotion because of the healing herbs in there. Um, and I have found that calendula, calendula flower is just an excellent herb for healing. Like my salve, it will heal in a matter of days. But sometimes in the wintertime, your skin just gets so dry and cracked. Um, and not that you can't put a salve on it, but sometimes you have a larger area and a lotion is just perfect for that. Do any of you guys make your own lotions? If you do, tell about it in the, the um, comments. If there's specific herbs you use, tell the reasons why you use it, what you found in your experience. And that can help anybody that's watching the video. Because people like to watch videos and then um, pull a little bit from this video, pull a little bit from that video, and make their own lotions or salves. Now, um, I'm just going to take it. I have my little jelly jars. 
and I'm going to pour it. Now as I'm pouring it, I can see parts that have already gotten thicker than the rest of it. And I just put it there. I have my plastic lids. I'm going to take a towel and just wipe that rim off. And I'll just continue to do that and I'll fill up all my jars. And it'll, it's just going to be a wonderful healing lotion. In a matter of days, I'll no longer have some dry skin. Um, it's really cold outside. The wind is blowing still. Um, mini blizzard. I think we'll only probably get two or three inches, so it won't be bad. But I have heard the plows go up and down the road. Now, um, a couple of you have asked how my um, vanilla is doing. Now, as you remember, this was my two-year-old vanilla. I made it December 2017. And this is some that we just made the other day. And so you can see the colors are starting to change. It does take a long time. But I will link below um, to the video for this. For those of you wanting to know how the brandy's coming along, it smells wonderful. Raspberry caramel brandy. And yesterday we did the video on vinegar raisins. And so those are coming along. And actually Friday night, I'll be able to take the first 10 raisins out of there. So um, if you like my videos, um, subscribe, press the like button, and then share them on social media to your friends. And as you know, I have a little buddy. And so yeah, he'd like to say goodbye. Yeah, say goodbye. So bye. Have a good day. Yeah, have a good day. What? What? What are you saying? Yeah, yeah just say goodbye.